And have you have you done something similar to that? Yes, yes, I've done yeah. something similar. Um, where uh, I come from Belgrade, mm -hmm. Serbia, uh, and I taught at Belgrade University, and in the 1990s when we were going mm -hmm. through disturbance, a lot of turbulences and uh, very, very insecure times um, when Serbia had inflation of 2% two, two per hour those wow. times. So it was um, working with these imported course mm -hmm. books didn't mean much. So I, I re vividly remember a lesson mm -hmm. on shopping at Harrods. Uh, and the, the <laughs> logo <laughs> slogan was you can buy uh, everything from the needle to an elephant, provided that you can persuade the shop owner that you're, you, you will be a good elephant minder. Um, <laughs> and in those days when these shops were empty, yeah. we couldn't buy practically nothing. It was practically the opposite, Yeah, right? opposite. So I didn't feel like uh, we could address that, you know, use these. Yeah. Um, this is just an extreme example. Mm -hmm. Uh, when the say a uh, course book printed in in the UK or USA with certain topics, um, these topics are not relevant. Students are working with these students. My students uh, were uh, English majors, and they they wanted to talk about what was around them, but at the same time, I wanted them to talk about uh, again learn more about American culture. Um, and um, I selected uh, uh, Walt Whitman's poem, I hear America singing. Uh, for me, that, that's really something that represents America in Walt Whitman's time, and um, students can uh, learn a lot about it. So uh, we, pre we, we read the poem, discussed it, and after that I focused their attention on the pattern verbs of perception plus ing. I okay. hear America oh, nice ing. Yeah, I hear yeah. America singing, or I hear, yeah. uh, and um, I asked them to write what they at that time could he see and hear mm -hmm. in Serbia. Okay. Practicing, so, so it, it was a kind of a guided practice. Okay. But guided practice, be, guide. I say guided practice because. Mm -hmm. I gave them a pattern which they had, but at the same time a very creative one. Um, mm. And they embraced this opportunity and expressed their different views uh, on, on on the current po political situation. So you you practically sourced it. Yeah, I sourced that. Yeah. I sourced that. Uh, so I can just I have this. This is, was really moving. We we came up with a poem. And I, something like, I hear Serbia crying for financial help. Wow. I hear Serbia singing folk songs about fur coats, diamonds, and Ferraris. I hear Serbia boasting about its glorious past. I hear Serbia dread to think about its future. That's wonderful. So. So and so well scaffolded too. You you let them. You gave them time to write. Their own sentences and yes. and it's in context. It's in really. context and and this this really um, it was a powerful lesson and I still remember oh. it. You have to let me steal it sometimes. Yes, so. of course. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a I think that yeah. um, if we really think about our context yeah. and look at our students and um, this think about their needs their needs and what they want to express. In your case, it was they wanted to talk about their own situation. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and I actually also it also helped them, as you mentioned, giving them time to write. What would it be like if they could work from home? Mm -hmm. So, so it's yeah. grammar it's embedded. Experience. They're not focused on grammar. They're focused on the topic. On the topic, yeah. but they practice grammar That's a right. lot. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, Herman. Thank you.